One day, Tom Moss was in a surprisingly nice mood. He decided that he was only going to prank naughty engines today, like Diesel 10. <laughs> diesel 10 was pulling some diesel works trucks. He was very proud of these trucks because they were diesel trucks and not steam engine trucks. Excuse me, Puffball, I've got important trucks, unlike you. He soon had to stop at a signal, so Tom Moss sprung into action. He swapped Diesel 10's important trucks for a chicken truck. And Diesel 10 didn't notice. So he really embarrassed himself. Out of my way, teapot! I'm pulling something important! Oh, I didn't realise Diesel 10 liked chickens that much! <laughs> he then ran into Splatter and Dodge. Uh, chicken? What did you call me? No, you're pulling chickens, boss! <laughs> what? Who did that? <laughs> right, you two, find whoever did this, now! Yes sir. Right away boss. But this just gave Tom Moss an idea for another prank. Splatter and Dodge looked everywhere for clues. Splatter soon found something. Hmm, ooh, this is a map. And it says it leads to the engine who pranked Diesel 10. Haha, <laughs> perfect! So he took the map and followed it. But little did he know that Dodge had found an identical map. So he took it and followed it too. Tom's plan was working. <laughs> right, the map says the prankster is on the other side of this water tower. Oh, but there's a truck in the way. I'd better move it. So he coupled himself up to it. But on the other side of the truck... So, the map says the prankster is on the other side of this water tower. Oh, but there's a truck in the way. I'd better move it. So he coupled himself up to it too. They both tried moving the truck at the same time. Phew! This truck sure is heavy. Why isn't it moving? What on earth are you two doing? The engine who pranked you is behind this truck, boss. No, Dodge is on the other side of the truck. Huh? It was Dodge? Of course it wasn't. <sighs> I'm going to have to find the prankster myself. You two are useless. Tom has an idea for one final prank. I think we upset Boss. Yeah, how can we make it up to him? <laughs> oh, hi Tom. And then, Tom told Splatter a great big lie. What? Diesel 10's broken down at a signal? <gasps> if we push him to the diesel works, he can't stay mad at us. So they rushed off. But Diesel hadn't broken down. He was just waiting for the signal to change. Don't worry. What? Oh, what are you two doing? We're here to help. Get off me. We're helping. But up ahead, someone had put a huge pile of coal on the track. Stop. Stop. But... Whoops! <laughs> Sorry boss. Look what you two have done! 
Now I'm filthy! Diesel 10 was very annoyed with Splatter and Dodge. Tom's work was done. So he returned to his tunnel to think up of his next prank. Uh oh, I know that laugh. It's Tom Moss. I hope he behaves himself today because it's a special day for King Funling. He has been asked to judge a Funling race competition and he's really excited. So King Funling, are you ready for the competition? Oh yes, I cannot wait. Good, let's go... Oh, hold on, where did that truck come from? Hmm, make yourself comfy in the carriage and I'll quickly put this truck away, okay? Okay, Thomas. And King Funling went inside. Yes, this is lovely. But... <laughs> Tom started pushing the carriage. Ooh, ooh. Oh, be careful, Thomas. This is quite uncomfortable. But that was Tom's plan. <laughs> OK, I put the truck away. Huh? Where's the carriage gone? Oh no, someone's taken King Funling. I've got to find him. Come on, Thomas. The carriage isn't even on the track. This is not comfortable. <laughs> Oof. What are you doing, Thomas? Is this the right way? But Tom wasn't finished yet. <laughs> hmm, the rocks have fallen. Whoever's taken King Funling must have gone this way. <laughs> Thomas, why have we stopped? Thomas? Ah! Tornado! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so dizzy. Ooh, ooh. Phew, that was not fun. But Tom had one more idea to make King Funling's journey even worse. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm getting close. <laughs> We appear to be going up. Oh, ah, we've stopped. Thomas, why have we stopped? Oh, I'm going to go outside. Thomas, what? A oh, how do we get up here? Thomas, oh, he's not there. Huh? Ah, a dinosaur! Don't panic, King Funling. You'll be safe in the carriage. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but... I'll save you, King Funling. I'll get you down. Quick, jump on top. Oh, I suppose I have to. And they escaped. Oh, marvellous. Thank you, Thomas. So, who brought you here in the first place? I have absolutely no idea. I thought it was you. And then they heard... <laughs> oh, I know who it was. It was Tom Moss. <laughs> Tom was happy with his day's work, so he headed back to his tunnel. But... There was a dinosaur in there! So he reversed away as quickly as he could. Uh -oh. <laughs> Serves him right. 
Now come on King Funling, let's go to that competition, and this time the journey will be much more comfortable. Hello, hello, sorry I'm late, I hope I didn't miss anything. No problem your majesty, we couldn't start it without you. Now let's begin this competition. And King Funling had a great time judging the competition. One day, Thomas was delivering a very precious crown to King Funling, but someone else had their eyes on it. Oh, that was a nice crown. It would look very nice on my head. <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas bumped into two Funlings. Oh, hi Funlings. Hi Thomas. Whoa, nice crown. Shiny. I'm delivering it to King Funling. Oh, can we come too? We can guard it for you. Oh yes please, thanks Funlings. So they hopped on board. Right, time to get me a crown. <laughs> now I just need to hide. Oh no, the track's closed. We can't go this way. <laughs> now I just have to take it. Mine! Uh -huh. Oh! Uh, you weren't with Thomas earlier. No, we weren't. But it's a good job we're with him now. You try to take the crown. Oh, um, run away! <gasps> oh no, he's getting away! After him! I'll be safe in this cave. Phew! Uh-oh, what was that? Ah! Gotcha! You're not getting away this time. Watch out! There's a monster in the tunnel! <laughs> no there isn't! It was only me! Now let's take you back to Thomas. We caught him! Well done Funlings! We'll take him to Batman later. Let's deliver this crown first. OK! Oh! Uh. Thomas, where is the crown? What? It's gone? Joker, what have you done with it? I don't have it. How can I have it? The Funlings chased me into a cave. It's true. He can't have it. Then where is it? Look, I'll help you find it if you don't take me to Batman and you let me go. Oh, fine. But we'd better find it. Good. Right, let's ask one of my friends. He might have it. So the Joker led them to a rascal funling. <laughs> Wake <laughs> up! Huh? What? Who? Huh? Oh, it's you guys. Give us back the crown. What? The crown you had on your truck earlier? I don't have it. Then where is it? I don't know, but I remember a train following you. They probably have it. Hmm, that could be a diesel. Come on, I know where they are. <sighs> diesel 10, give it back. Give what back? King Funling's crown. I don't have it. He can't have it. He's been here with me all day. Oh, then who does have it? Well, I saw a train with a crown go into that tunnel over there. That must be it, come on! And they raced towards the tunnel. Can you see the crown? Uh -oh. There it is, it's on Tom Moss. After him! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> but when Tom got to Wellsworth, the crown didn't fit under the footbridge. And it fell off. Stop! Look, there's the crown! 
and Tom got away. <laughs> but at least they had the crown back, so they delivered it to King Funling. Thank you for safely delivering my crown. No problem, King Funling. So, we saved the crown. Can I go now? <sighs> Fine. Yay! Goodbye! What a nice crown! So although the Joker got away, they had successfully delivered the crown. And Tom went back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Tom Moss. <laughs> it is! <laughs> now then, recently Tom agreed to be a bit nicer. So what's he up to today? <laughs> oh, he's found a treasure map. Wait a minute. You've drawn that map yourself, haven't you, Tom? Uh-oh. <laughs> that day, Thomas found the map. Ooh, a treasure map. I must follow it. So he took the map and started to follow it. Treasure, here I come! Oh no, I think Thomas has fallen for Tom's fake map prank. Right, it says I need to climb this hill. OK, here I go. But Tom knew a shortcut to the top and had placed a huge boulder on the track. Huh? What's that? Ah! It's a boulder! Run! <laughs> Phew! That was close. But that was just one part of Tom's prank. So Thomas soon made it to the top of the hill, and he looked at the map again. It says I have to go through this tunnel. But Thomas didn't realise that someone was waiting for him in the tunnel. <laughs> Ugh, I'm covered in paint! Oh well, I must find this treasure. And he continued following the map. OK, the treasure is somewhere over there. Ooh, I see it. It's on the elevated track. I know how I can get it. And he positioned a truck underneath to catch the treasure. Yes, it fell into the truck. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, Tom's stealing my treasure. Hey, give it back. And Thomas chased Tom. But Tom had a plan. He quickly changed the points, so Thomas went the wrong way. And the paint made his wheel slippery, so he couldn't stop. Oh, bother. Tom's prank was almost complete. <laughs> Hmm, that's strange. 
he's left me the treasure. So Belle soon arrived with Rocky, and Thomas was put back on the track. He was very excited to see the treasure that he'd found. But all that was inside was a smelly old fish. Oh, I can't believe I fell for Tom Moss's prank. Meanwhile, Tom had returned to his tunnel. He had agreed to be a bit nicer, but he found it a lot more fun pulling pranks like this. <laughs> OK guys, it's time to earn your logos. Meanwhile, Percy had a very special job to do. He was delivering a valuable crown to the museum. But... Huh? What's this? Please wait here for the Percy Inspector. Percy Inspector? Ooh, that sounds quite important. <laughs> oh look, it's the Joker! wearing an expensive crown. Hold on, that's my expensive crown! He must have just made up that Percy Inspector to take my crown! Oh no, I need to get it back! OK guys, Percy has lost his crown to the Joker. We need to get it back! The Joker? Oh no, let's call Batman! There's no time, he's getting away! But don't worry, I'll stop the Joker. Caught you two! Come on, get out of the truck, Joker! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh no! I caught the Joker, but Tom's getting away with the crown! Good work, McQueen! We'll stop Tom, so you can open your logo! Dusty was inside. OK, I've handed the Joker over to Batman, but how are we going to stop Tom? Um, slight problem, McQueen. It's not just Tom now, it's Ultron as well. But don't worry, I think I can stop them. <laughs> We make a good team, Tom. We don't need the Joker. Stop, you two! <coughs> Cruz, you can't stop us all by yourself. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. What was that? It was Jackson Storm. Storm? I had this under control. No, you didn't. I could see that you needed help. Tom saw his opportunity and ran away with the crown. <laughs> Tom wouldn't have run away if you hadn't jumped in. Yes, but I caught Ultron for you. Guys, calm down. You both did great. You've both earned your logos. Sky was inside Storm's logo. And James was inside Cruz's logo. So what do we do now? Well, we've got another problem now. 
Venom's helping Tom. <laughs> I think we need to be more sneaky. Don't worry, Sneaky's my middle name. Well, not really. <laughs> I think those cars have given up. The crown is ours. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you stopped? Please wait here for the Percy Inspector. Percy Inspector? But you're not called Percy. Come on, I think it's just a distraction. Let's go. So they continued running away, without realising that Mater had taken the crown back. Got it! <laughs> well done, Mater. And they didn't even notice. You have definitely earned your logo, Mater. Muddy George was inside. So Mater returned the crown to Percy, who completed the delivery. Venom and Tom eventually realised that they didn't have the crown anymore, and were very embarrassed. And the cars had definitely all learned their logos. It was King Funling's birthday, and the Funlings wanted to make it special. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! Oh, thank you, Funlings! So, how old are you today? Never you mind! <laughs> okay, so, do you want to give the king the presents? What? Don't you have the presents? No, you were supposed to get them. I thought you were getting them. Is there a problem? <laughs> uh, no, but we'll be back shortly. Quick, quick! Oh, what are we going to do? Huh? Oh, it's Thomas! Hi guys! Thomas, we forgot to get the king presents for his birthday! Oh no, what does he like? I don't know, expensive shiny things? Okay, well, come on, let's quickly find something. Thanks Thomas! But someone overheard their conversation. Tom Moss! <laughs> and it gave him an idea to have some fun. <laughs> oh look guys, balloons! Huh? Oh yes, the king loves balloons! But... <laughs> Soon Thomas had to stop at a signal, so Tom took the balloons. And they didn't notice. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! Oh, thank you, Thomas. We've got something special for you. Ta-da! Oh. And what is that supposed to be? Um, <laughs> uh, we'll be back soon. Go, Thomas, go! Oh, what happened to the balloons? Hey guys, why don't you get the king a special burger? Okay, yeah! Welcome to McDonald's! Please can we have your finest burger? Sure thing! It's ready! Ta-da! Well that's not very special. Do you have anything better? Oh, hmm. Well we do have the Burger Buster 5000. Um, okay, yeah, one of them, please. Coming up. Ta-da! Wow, that's huge! It's perfect. Thank you. But... <laughs> oh, 
Tom uncoupled the burger and he replaced it with fish. Yay! I'm sure the king will love this. <laughs> okay, we're back with something delicious. We hope you're hungry. You got me smelly fish. Smelly fish? What? <gasps> uh, we'll be right back again. Where did that smelly fish come from? Hey guys! Oh, hi McQueen. I just won this crown in a race, but I hear it's the king's birthday. Can you give it to him please? Yes, of course. He'll love it. Oh, thank you McQueen. But... <laughs> what? Was that Tom Moss? He must be after the crown. We need to warn Thomas and the Funlings. Do you guys mind if I stop for water? No, not at all. But make it quick. Tom took the crown and replaced it with another smelly fish. OK, let's go. <laughs> OK, Your Majesty, you'll definitely love this. McQueen got you. Another smelly fish? Where did that fish come from? Huh? Guys, Tom Moss followed you. We think he's got the crown. What? Tom Moss? Oh, that would explain everything. <laughs> Is that him over there? As Tom ran away, he dropped the crown. I'll get the crown. Thomas, follow Tom. But Tom led Thomas straight to the Burger Buster 5000 and the balloons. <sighs> I can't keep up with him. But look, there's the burger and the balloons. So they took the presents back to the king, who loved them. Thank you for wanting to make my birthday special. No problem. So Tom almost got away with it today. Looks like he'll have to try harder next time. Hey Funlings, you look like you're in a good mood today. Yeah, we're giving everyone on the island free ice cream. Yay! Thomas, free ice cream to everyone! <laughs> However, Tom Moss was at the first signal Thomas had to wait at. Ice cream truck to a sticky tar truck. Ice cream? This is tar. That wasn't very nice, Funlings. Those Funlings can be mean. Hello. Free ice cream for everyone. Here you go. Enjoy. Huh? Oh, this isn't ice cream. Ugh, 
Do the fondlings even know what ice cream is? Hello! Free ice cream for everyone! Here you go! Enjoy! Huh? Oh, I really, really wanted that ice cream. <sighs> We're all out of ice cream. Everyone on the island's going to love us. Uh, Funlings, that's not ice cream. That's tar. Moss was still at the signal. <laughs> and changed the new ice cream truck to a truck full of molten lava. <laughs> not ice cream again. That's lava. That's dangerous. Oh no! What have we done? All we wanted to do was to give out free ice cream. Oh, Funlings, it's not your fault. This sounds like a Tom Moss game. How about I ask Belle to clean up the mess then we can invite everyone here to eat the free ice cream. Yeah, that's a good idea. And soon, Belle put out all the fires and washed away the tar. Luckily, no one was hurt. The Funlings explained to everyone what had happened and everyone finally enjoyed their free ice cream. The trains on Sodor were all working really hard. But something strange happened. I feel like something's missing. Something important. Oh well. His number had disappeared, and Thomas wasn't the only one. Ooh, that sounds like Thomas. Hi, Funling. 
sorry. Do I know you? What? It's me, Thomas. No, you're not Thomas. Thomas is the number one engine. And you don't have a number. Oh, so that's what's missing. My number. Thomas, my number's missing. So's mine. And mine. What had happened to their numbers? Oh no! The number's missing from our train! Uh, our train doesn't have a number. Oh yeah! Phew! What a relief! But what about our numbers? Don't worry, us funlings will find them. Come on, we can solve this mystery. I know who might be behind this. The Rascal Funling! <laughs> uh oh! OK, Rascal Funling, where did you get that number from? Someone gave it to me! Who? An engine! Right, well, I'll be taking this. Phew! OK, so what engine... Huh? Hello? Oh, he ran away! Oh well, at least I saved Gordon's number. Now where is he? I'm over here. Huh? When I realised my number was missing, I was so embarrassed, I hid in this tunnel. Don't worry, you can have it back now. <sighs> oh, thank you. No problem. Now what engine gave the rascal funding that number? Ah, an engine with no number, I reckon. Diesel! OK, Diesel, where are all the numbers? What numbers? The train numbers. You gave one to the rascal funling. No, I didn't. You must be thinking of the wrong diesel engine. I do have one number though. Huh? Oh yes! Henry's number three! Good! So where are the others? Huh? Oh, he's gone! Hmm, he said something about talking to the wrong Diesel. He must mean... Diesel 10! OK, Diesel 10, where are the train numbers? Oh, I'm not called Diesel 10 anymore. I'm Diesel 102. And where did that 2 come from? Ah, uh, it came from Edward. Here, have it back. Oh, thanks. So who has the other numbers? Well, I can't tell you, but there's a big clue in that egg over there. But you didn't hear that from me. Well, Edward can have this back. So there's a clue in here. Ah, I should have known. It's Tom Moss. And he had the last two numbers. Gotta stop Tom! Gotta stop Tom! Uh -oh. Tom noticed the funling catching up with him. So... He left the numbers behind and escaped. saved all the numbers! So he took them back to the engines. Hey, where's my number? Oh, sorry Thomas. It, uh, mysteriously disappeared. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back on my train, which has a new number. Um, Funling, is that my number? What? <laughs> okay, yeah.
So the funding had saved all of the engine's numbers.